When you use an apple, you have to core it first. This is a technique which is very good, but you have to be very careful. If you don't do it properly, you will hurt yourself. I put my thumb here, and I have the point of my knife here. The point of the knife cannot go lower than my thumb. If I don't have my thumb here, I'm this way, I will go into my hand. So first I place my thumb on top of it, plant the knife around, and turn around my thumb, as you can see here. There is no danger of cutting. I can even use this, actually, as a decoration in my dessert. The same thing on the other side, again with my thumb. Now I start peeling with the knife, and as you can see, I'm holding the knife almost at the end, and I'm cutting with the point of the knife by a little streak because of the texture of the apple. Notice that my left hand, I'm right-handed, is pushing the apple into the knife almost as much as the other side. Now this you cut in half. Again, the same technique, my thumb here. And I will turn around, again, to remove the core here. Now you can say, well, I do that with a melon bowler. Fine, it works. This is faster. Then after we slice it, you will take the end of your apple and keep only the center slice, which have the same size. This, the trimming of the apple, is usually coarsely cut. Just imagine that this is a dough. I'm doing a tart or something. I will put that on the dough, spread it out on the dough, and then I can take my apple, like a deck of carp, spread it out this way to arrange them right on top of my apple. Again, it's a question of speed and efficiency in the kitchen, and that's important.